Hi, it's that gratitude guy, David Brook, with another special guest. And my special guest today is Mr. Steve Hilbert. Steve, welcome aboard. Thanks, great to be here. You bet, yeah. you bet. I've known Steve a long time, and so it's, it's always with anticipation that I ask my favorite question. Steve, what are you grateful for? Gosh, loaded question, but there's a lot to be grateful for. I guess you and I have talked quite a bit over the years. It's, you know, throughout your career, history, and life, Things can go up and sideways, but I guess you always have to be grateful for your core beliefs and what you mm. value, and also your friendships in life. And I've been very fortunate to have great people around me at a lot of time, like starting with my parents, taking raising me well, and my wife, and my family, and I make good friends where I go. And I'm just grateful for all the people that I bring in, that seem to attract and bring into my life that have helped me along the way. So That, that is fantastic. Yeah. And one of the things I always mention is the fact that Every time I do one of these interviews, if you will, about what people are grateful for, I find out something new about them or about gratitude. So what are a couple of core beliefs that you have? Because that's a great way to look at it. Yeah, that's a good question. I, I think for me, I take my dad and my mom always taught me that no matter who you are, you, there's something to learn from somebody and take, treat all people kindly and mm. with the respect that they deserve. And I've, I've always approached it, no matter who they are. I, you know, I joke, one of my most, uh, my wealthiest clients in, in the history when I was back in the finance days, no one would talk to because they thought, well, this guy probably doesn't have any money, he dressed funny, he dressed like you. Oh, it turned out to be a very wealthy individual with an amazing story and, and helped build this town. So you just never know, but you just have to take everybody with who they are and, and understand, you know, everyone's unique and has their own story. So that's to me, that's, that's something that I, I kind of take home. Great, great yeah. core beliefs. And I can't let Mr. Hilbert uh, leave without mentioning he's going to be grateful. He is already for something that's going to be happening soon. Yes. And what is, what is on the uh, horizon, Mr. Our Hilbert? Our first baby girl. Yeah, fantastic. due in January. We're very excited. Yeah, fantastic. so cannot wait to be yeah. a dad. Fantastic. <laughs> very grateful for that. Well, and I will say, too, and I'm so excited for Steve. I've known Steve a number of years now. And I'm so excited for him. With a lot of crazy things I've done in my life, there's nothing that I appreciate and more grateful for than being a father. So I'm really looking forward for that. I can't wait. I'll be asking you for a lot of advice thank along you. the way. So <laughs> advice? Never. Yeah, never. Yeah. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Great. You Thanks. bet. You bet. And Thanks, David. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll have another special guest on our continuing series of special guests with finding out what people are grateful for. I'm that gratitude guy. And remember, be grateful and never quit. <laughs>